Welcome back to session five of this course on understanding and managing anxiety. I'm Dr. Tracy. In the previous session, we tried to find the root cause of anxiety. If you were able to identify possible causes and want to take this work another step further, then I recommend a guided exercise that I have on Insight Timer on reworking and replacing belief systems. In this session, we'll discuss ways of not identifying with anxiety. You'll need pen and paper for this session, so if you don't already have it, please pause the recording and come back when you're ready. Anxiety does not define who we are. You are not your anxiety. In fact, I try my best to not even use that phrase, your anxiety or my anxiety, because we're owning it and we don't want to do that. Yes, anxiety is a part of us, but it's not all of us. And it certainly doesn't determine who we are. Anxiety is not a personality characteristic. It's an emotional reaction to the stressors of life. Think of who you could be without the symptoms of anxiety. There could be a whole other personality or spirit beneath that anxiety, just waiting to be freed. For your therapy homework, I'm going to give you a few suggestions on your self-talk that I want you to use every day, several times a day even, because what we say to ourselves, we end up believing. For example, right now you may believe you have no control over the anxiety, so we need to rework and replace those negative belief systems. So please write down these suggestions. The first one is I want you to mo monitor how you talk about the anxiety to others and in your own mind. Avoid saying the words, my anxiety, and instead say, the anxiety. The second one is to use a mantra, like anxiety does not control me, or I'm not my anxiety. If you prefer a mantra saying it more positively, you can certainly change those in any way you'd like. The third suggestion is to use positive affirmation, affirmations, such as, I am calm, I am strong, I can do this. I find it helpful that when I do a breathing exercise to just say that word, say relax as I breathe in or just to breathe as I breathe in. And feel free to come up with your own suggestions and what works for you. When we're already feeling pretty anxious, these affirmations often end up becoming empty, meaningless words. So to ensure we can actually feel their meaning, it can be more powerful to say these words out loud and even more powerful to say them while looking at yourself in the mirror. Look yourself right in the eyes as you say them. Repeat the affirmations in your mind often, even when you're not feeling anxious. It may be uncomfortable at first if you don't already believe these things, but keep doing it. Just like anything else, the more you practice, the easier it gets, and eventually you'll start believing it. My favorite technique for saying affirmations, so the words penetrate deep within you, is a quick heart-centered meditation that I'd like us to do together. And then I'd like you to practice it on your own for your therapy homework. So go ahead and sit comfortably and just begin to breathe. Gently close your eyes. 
and place your hand on your heart. Turn your attention inward and find your heartbeat. Our mind and body often become disconnected with anxiety. So this can sometimes take a moment to find the rhythm of your heartbeat. But be patient. Feel your breath and your heartbeat working together pumping life through your body. Now I want you to say these affirmations as if you're speaking directly to your heart, to your soul. I am calm. I am strong. I can do this. Just breathe. Relax. Feel these words move through your body and your mind and your spirit. And when you're ready, bring yourself back to the present moment and your surroundings and open your eyes. I want you to do this every day when you wake up in the morning or when you go to sleep or even better, do it both times. At other times of the day, this can be done more quickly and simply. Just focus on your breath and your heartbeat and say your affirmations. Use affirmations specific to you and whatever it is that you need in the moment. In the course classroom, please ask questions, share any questions or challenges, successes you've had, and provide feedback to me or give support and encouragement to other participants. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your journey. Good luck to you and blessings of good mental health.